Welcome back to the Nighttime Entrepreneur YouTube channel guys. This is the channel that helps you to make money while you sleep and build your empire by night. As you can see from the title of this video today, I'm going to show you and explain how to understand what people are buying directly through your Amazon Associates link and what they're buying indirectly through your Amazon Associates links. Once you watch this video all the way through, you will then understand exactly what you're selling well, what isn't selling well, and your Amazon Associate analytics that we're going to take a look at now may actually give you some ideas for future content if you happen to be selling a lot of indirect products. And just before we jump into it, guys, don't forget to subscribe so that you can use these videos to escape your nine to five lifestyle and start earning a full-time income online. Okay everyone, so for the purpose of this video I'm going to be looking at two particular videos that are selling items quite well for me on this YouTube channel. The first one is up top, how to connect a blue snowball microphone to a suspension microphone arm, the newer mic stand. And the third one down here is the Manfrotto single articulated arm two section with a camera bracket plus a super clamp review plus a setup tutorial. So both of these videos one of them is here and we're up on about 12,000 views and I go through the product and products explain how they work and all of that kind of stuff. And on the other video, it's got about 33 and a half thousand views and it's all about connecting a blue snowball microphone that I'm speaking on right now to that arm that you can see on screen. I explain how to do that and I let people know that my affiliate link is in the description box below. Whether you're familiar with Amazon Associates or not, that is pretty much standard practice. So I've gone to my Amazon Associates account and I've filtered it for this year. And as you can see through all of my efforts on this particular YouTube channel, I've had about 3,277 clicks, 210 items were ordered, 206 have shipped and four of them were returned. The conversion there is 6.41% and the amount people spent through my links is just over $4,000 rendering me with $200 in income. Now, income is not really what we're focused on in this video. If I scroll down the page just a little bit more, you will see that number one is the newer adjustable microphone suspension arm, which I've done in one of the videos. And then as we go down along, you will see that there is related products. As you can see down along here, there are clicks on the super clamp, which was done in one of my videos and pretty much the top 20 items that were ordered this year in my Amazon Associates account were from those two videos where I speak about that equipment. So the key indicator of what's selling directly through your link, we'll take a look at up here. For the adjustable microphone suspension boom arm, I've actually gotten 80 sales this year through that exact link. When you go over to the next column, you'll see there it's under all other items that were ordered. That's 12. And what that means is that they didn't buy this item through my particular link. They could have clicked one of my other links and ended up adding this to the basket as well. And finally, the last column that says 92 at the moment is just the total items ordered. So a lot of people are clicking through and purchasing that particular item from that particular link. That's great. That's what it's designed to do. But when you see very low click through product links here, and you actually see more numbers over on this column under all other items ordered, what that means is that you didn't actually link the person to that particular product, but they picked it up while they were shopping on Amazon anyway, most likely during that session. So let's take a look at number five, for example. I don't link, nor do I review or have any video about the InnoGear heavy duty microphone stand with microphone, windscreen and dual layered mic pop filter suspension boom scissor arm stands for Blue Yeti, comma, B, and therefore I have no link clicks on that product. However, through sending people to Amazon through my other affiliate links, six of them have actually decided to pick up this product. So chances are that when I was reviewing and showing people how to connect the blue snowball to this microphone arm. People clicked through on my link, but they may have found a better deal or a more durable suspension arm or a better one or simply just a cheaper one. There could be any reason why. So let's check it out. Here is my one. I'll open that up in a new tab. And then here is the InnoGear one. So mine's 1399, 4,263 reviews. Looks good. When I go to the other one, it's just slightly cheaper. Maybe there's more information similar amount of customer reviews to prove that they are both good products but just by chance people decided to purchase that as well so while i've sold 80 of those plus 12 of the newer adjustable microphone suspension boom arm the InnoGear has sold six 
without even trying. So all of these products down along this center column, they have all been picked up through your Amazon affiliate link that you didn't actually link them to. Because as you know, when you link someone to Amazon through your Amazon Associates link, anything they purchase during that session or the next 24 hours on Amazon, you're going to get paid a commission for. Let's say, for example, we come down to number 13, a blue snowball pop filter. Let's pretend that nobody ordered through that link because I never linked them to it, which is actually true. But let's imagine this number two here is actually 20, for example. What that would tell me is that it may be worth doing a review or purchasing that product and testing it out and making a video or a blog post about that and then sharing my affiliate link to that product. To give you a better example, which I just missed, Number two up here, the professional microphone pop filter. I don't link anyone to that product. I haven't recommended it. However, through people going to Amazon through my videos, 16 of them have actually purchased that this year. So maybe I need to purchase that, do a product review on that, and if it's good or if it's bad, share a video about that on YouTube, or as I said earlier, do a blog post on it, and that could be a good seller for me as well. Of course, it's not just about creating a video, popping the product in and hoping for the best. I would need to find out people's pain points around pop filters, do some keyword research, create a quality video, and then release that. The Amazon Associates game is completely over quality versus quantity. So guys, I hope you found that very useful and that now you're able to go into your own Amazon Associates account and see what people are purchasing through your links, be it that exact product that you link them to or if they're picking up other products for other reasons once they actually go through your affiliate link. Don't worry, you'll get your commission regardless, but sometimes it's just worth a look to see what competing products are out there that you haven't actually reviewed or linked people to. So that's pretty much everything for this video, guys. Please do check out the Nighttime Entrepreneur Podcast and give that a rate and a review. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook, and please comment your thoughts on this particular video in the description box below. If I've mentioned anything useful in this video that you would think would be handy for me to have linked to, chances are I have linked you to it in the description box below as well. And you can always head on over to the nighttimeentrepreneur.com website as well. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. You should be seeing a round icon with my face on it. Please click that to subscribe. And there should also be some other videos on screen for you to check out as well. I'll see you guys in the next video.